It's very important in what you're here, here tonight. And I think he's one of the very best keyboard players in the whole world. Right here. And I don't know what's got into you tonight. Man, you're playing it. He's playing thousands of, he's playing so fast like a machine game. You know? <laughs> And he does not hit a single note wrong. <laughs> <Big game. laughs> Actually, it's beginning to get on my nerves. <laughs> anyway, Ming and I have been playing together for 22 years. This next uh, piece of music was actually inspired by a bird. Uh, it was a few years ago, I remember. Uh, um, I was in Venice, Italy at the time. Are you waving at me right now? <laughs> <laughs> kind of busy right now. <laughs> Can I go? <laughs> okay, thank you. It's cool, I love it. So anyway, I was in Venice, Italy. <laughs> Somewhere there. And uh, I kept hearing this amazing and beautiful sound coming through my window. It sounded like a human being was walking by casually, relaxed, and they were just whistling. But the most beautiful whistle I have ever heard in my life. It had tone, it had rhythm, it had melody. I was really amazed. It took me a little while to realize it wasn't the human being after all. It was a bird. And these birds are called nightingale. And they're abundant in Italy and in Greece and other parts of the world. And they, they, any of you might have ever heard it, one of these birds that I was saying, they do have the most amazing voice of any other bird in the world. In fact, they make every other bird, and they put every other bird to shame. <laughs> they all sound like that chirping around. Chip, 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 chip. <laughs> I was, this bird kept coming every evening by my window and proceeded to sing up a whole storm. They have an enormous vocabulary. But there was three or four melodies that he kept repeating that were uh, memorable, and they were absolute. When he did them, it was exactly the right notes for melody, rhythm, pitch, everything, the same. I was so impressed that I thought, wouldn't it be amazing if I could just get this bird to have a conversation with my orchestra? <laughs> yeah, Lauren. <laughs> but I could learn. Well, he was an Italian bird after all. So. <laughs> 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 you know. Working pieces of the film together. <laughs> I don't know why I'm telling you all this right now. What does that have to do with the song? I just feel happy and I'm amongst friends and I'm having fun with you. <laughs> so the first time I wrote the song, I wrote it for the Chinese flute. Because the Chinese flute on the higher registers sounds exactly like a nightingale. And tonight I would like to perform this piece of music for you in its latest form. And you might have guessed it. The song is called Nightingale. nightingale. <laughs>
Thank you.